somebody very flexible. Me, I'm flexible. You're flexible? Yeah, very flexible. So you go down here. Uh, it's, it's not because you have to be very flexible, but it's not going to be very bad for you. Because if I bring someone who's not flexible, he will cry. Uh, so guys, what I want to show now is like a, a setup. What I think helps a lot when you fight against somebody who is actually very flexible, you know. Сейчас я хочу показать несколько приемов, которые помогут вам бороться с очень гибкими людьми. I will show like a combination of movements what you do. Like I want to pass his guard, but this guy is very flexible. I always come here and he always bring the legs. Он все время ноги выставляет. It's really hard to escape from his legs. Очень тяжело обойти. And once you manage to escape, he always bring back the legs and start everything again. It's a lot of energy. Когда вы уже прошли, он снова восстанавливает, и вы тратите очень много энергии. So I try to save my energy, put him in a situation where he can't really use the legs. Поэтому я стараюсь поставить его в такую ситуацию, где он не может использовать свои ноги. So what we're gonna do before he managed to make his grips, I will try to grab his legs from outside here. Перед тем, как он возьмет какие-либо захваты, я возьму его. And I will try to bring this over his head like that. And my intention is one of one of his leg I put to the side, then I can drop my knee on top. I will be nice. No, I will drop my knee here and the top. Then I can just lock him like this. Одну ногу я буду закрывать, поставив на нее колено. As you can see, I have one leg here, another here, and my hands are like this. И руками загружать его еще больше на другую ногу. Now his flexibility is against him because this is not the best position for him. Теперь для него это его слабое. Look, yes. <laughs> his knee is touching the floor. My knee is on the floor, not on the top of his leg. Because my intention is not to make him feel pain. My intention is just to stuck him right here. And here I have a few options, few things what I can do from that position. You know, he can't really do too much because I will be holding the belt, holding the leg. You can grab the grip band, so you can just hold it like this. Можно держать его или за ногу, или за штаны, второй рукой за пояс. He can't go back because I create a bar here. Он не может уйти назад, потому что мое колено блокирует движение в ту сторону. If he roll that way, it's gonna help me. I go to his back like that. Если он продолжит кувырок, то тогда я просто заберу его спину. So that's really annoying position for those guys who are not really flexible. But for flexible guys, this is not a big problem. Для тех, кто не очень гибок, это очень неприятная позиция. Но для гибких ребят это вполне как бы терпимо. So probably if you try this against somebody not flexible, it's gonna be really hard just to put his knee on the floor. Для не гибкого человека тяжело даже колено прижать к полу. But what I like to say is like if the guy is not flexible, you don't need this type of pass. You can pass it the easy way, just to run the pass. Если человек не гибкий, вам этот проход, возможно, не понадобится. Вы можете какой-то другой использовать. But if I try to run the pass against this guy, probably I'm not gonna pass his guard. Но такие проходы, которые работают на не гибких людях, blocking here, blocking here. Give me the good base to go for some type of guard pass. So first one, we're gonna do the classic leg drag situation. I'm gonna pull his leg here to see her. When I see that, I go for the collar. Я буду оттягивать его ногу в leg drag, и тогда, когда я уже могу видеть его лицо, я беру его за ворот. Now all the way is free for me to come. The only thing is that arm, but he's not gonna stop me this arm. He will have to just come around, you know, and pass the guard. So in this case, I avoid his legs, avoid the flexibility because actually he can do too much from that. При этом проходе я полностью нейтрализовал его гибкость и его ноги. Of course, он не мог никак. All the time with the pressure, because if you give a little space, the guy will escape the hips and maybe recover the guard. Все время нужно оказывать давление, потому что как только вы дадите какое-то пространство, он восстановит гард. So my intention now is not to force him to roll. I don't want him to completely turn. Мне не надо его переворачивать. I want to just lift the legs and then I go here. One of his legs I will put on my knee on top, switch my grips, and then I just go here. Я прижимаю одну его ногу и оказываюсь в этом положении. See the collar, and my elbow is blocking this leg. Локоть блокирует верхнюю ногу. To have the leg drag pass. If he turns, because this arm is free, so he will give me the back. That's why this grip is very important because that's going to control the speed. Этот контроль, этот за контроль который вы держите рукой, очень важен, потому что он даст вам возможность 
Zabrać spinu w fazie. Control here, the belt or the gi pants. So it depends on competition. You can grab the gi pants or you grab the belt. Zavisi od pravil. Wy możecie inaczej drzeć za stany. Pull it. Ile za pojazd? I see the collar. And now I just gonna drive there. Sometimes I like to keep my knee here. Inaczej ja stawiam swoje kolano tam. And then I go for the neck. I muszę go zachować za szyję. If you escape the head outside, I use my head on the block to push. And then lower my hips before he places the leg on front of my chest. У меня есть возможность прижать его ноги и уйти в сайт потом. One more time is fine. Yeah. So let's see once again. Yeah, this is very simple. One, two. Look how I did in my hand. I start like that, and then I will lift, and then I pull here. One of the legs I will drop. But what is important for me, the hips is in the air. You see that? He's not like this. This is completely different than what I want. I don't want that part of his hips touching the ground. So I need to make sure this is in the air. So that's why I'm going to use my leg and my hips to block. So he can't load the hips here. Свой таз и колено я использую как опору, чтобы он не мог положить. Always remember, guys, if he start to roll back, just put your head there. He's giving me the back. Still good for me. He's trying to survive from here. If he turn the back, it's good for me. But he don't turn. Open. Control the collar. And then I will try to go down to my knee here. Pass the guard and have the pass. This will be the first one after I'm going to show a few variations, okay? So get a partner. Let's try this one. Now I give you guys three minutes. Both guys try. And then I have to come back to show you. Сейчас сделаем по очереди через три минуты. So the the same the same drill. Remember when I place the leg here, I try to put my knee on top, but my another leg is going behind his lower back. I need to combine this. You see, these two legs are very important to trap my opponent here. So I'm putting my knee in lock and my hips push. Then I'm here. So it's really hard for him to do something from here. He's gonna try to escape, but I'm holding here. I will be putting my weight, I'm gonna drop, and then I pull the leg. Look what I see the collar. The question is which collar I grab. Grab the, the one on the bottom. I mean, the close to you. And we pull it here. I need to go this way. I start to drop my knee here. If you push me with his arm, I'm always trying to, you know, and then I keep control the collar because if he turns, that's what's going to stop. If he turns in my direction, I just hug the head. But if he turns to the other side, that's what's going to stop the hips. That's what's going to give me the back. So, just the beginning. Leg, pull it, and look, look how I do it. I open, put, and then I change. Look, my knee, my hips. Then I hold. Колено и бедра прижимают его поясницу. Okay, this is the most important. That position here. From here, you can go for the leg drag to go for other things. What I'm gonna show. Отсюда уже возможно разные варианты. Let's try a little bit more, and then after we're gonna see the second variation. Всем известен Карвалио. Он судил мой матч, когда я сделал первый раз в истории БЖЖ ОЛ чек. И он судил. Можешь у него спросить, он помнит даже это. Он знает это видео, которое по всему миру известно. All check in BGJ, in BGJ. Посмотрите в интернете. Известный парень? Спасибо.